silly in the name of Morning folks, welcome to episode two of Chili in the Name of. Today it is Well that'll be the day when you say goodbye, yes, that'll be the day. That's right, today is that'll be the day, the day when I uh, look at all the different Dattle sources that have been sent out over to me from the United States by my good man Brian McNeil. All of these sources contain the Dattle pepper, and I'm going to highlight these today. Just a little bit about the datil pepper. It's a capsicum chinense species, originally cultivated in the United States. It sits between 100,000 to 300,000 Scoville heat units, and Wikipedia rates it as a very hot chili. And legend has it that it can only be grown in and around the St. Augustine area in Florida. But as it happens, I bought seeds from an Australian grower, so I know this is not the case. So let's get on with it, shall we? Uh, the first sauce I'm going to try today is cowgill's Dattle pepper hot sauce. Uh, it has a reasonably uh, midi medium consistency. As you can see, it's pouring quite well in there. You can see there's bits of black seed in there. Um, and it's got a cow with a tail blowing fire uh, in a field on the, on the cover of it. So let's have a crack at it. Yeah, it's delicious. It tastes like a, you can really taste this ketchup in there as the main ingredient, but there's also mustard uh, and distilled vinegar along with the uh, chilies themselves. I'd say it's probably a really good sort of hot dog sauce or something you might put on a, uh, next to a, a steak or something. It's not particularly hot. It's definitely got that mustard ketchup flavor. So when you mix mustard and ketchup together, that's, that's the sort of flavor you're getting there. The second sauce I'm going to try is from St. Augustine. It's called Menorcan Recipe Dattle Pepper Sauce. I wish I could have a bigger bottle of this one because this one's amazing. Let's have a taste. This one's listed as medium heat. Uh, the main ingredients in this one are vinegar and salt. So it's got that sort of tabasco -y sort of flavor. Uh, in terms of medium heat, yeah, it's, it's really good, but this can go on absolutely anything. And the last one I'm going to try today is also from St. Augustine, Old St. Augustine Venom. And it's got a snake on the front of it, as you can see. Dattle pepper hot sauce. This one's rated as, I think that says, hot. So let's have a go at that one too. Yeah, this one's quite a bit hotter, but again, it's the same sort of ingredient set as the as the last one. It's got an aged pepper sauce made from cayenne peppers uh, and distilled vinegar and salt. It's got datil peppers, and then it's also got habanero peppers, and you can actually taste the habs in there, but I think the datils are, are sitting front and center on, on this one. It's also got habanero powder in it, which is probably where it's getting a lot of its actual punch from. Um, again, this is very much like the other St. Augustine, these two are very similar in, in their profile, but this one's just got much more, more of a, a, a hot punch to it. So that's all the dattle pepper sauces I've got for you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, tasting the uh, tastes of Florida with me. Um, if you can pick up any of these sauces, I would recommend it. Probably my pick of the bunch would definitely be the Venom, because it is just that little bit hotter. And it's just, it just seems to carry the, the dattle pepper flavor just that little bit better. Until next time, I'll see you around. Silly in the name of...